this step is pretty easy. Uh, just use whatever BitTorrent client that you're using. But I recommend something light uh, for this one uh, because you're gonna be downloading with it. And a lot of people that use this one, they they use uh, rtorrent and that's a command line, um, and they use that with FlexGit. I'm not a big command line guy, so I'm using transmission a GUI, and that's what I'm gonna show you for this example. But the features should be the same on all other um, BitTorrent client, so don't be discouraged. All right. So with your BitTorrent client, uh, you're gonna look for a feature like this, and I have transmission. Let me see what version is this. 1.91. So you have that. It looks the same like this, okay? But anyways, go to Edit Preference, and you're looking for a feature like a a watch folder feature. Basically, it watches the folder, and whatever is in that folder, it'll just add it automatically. So that's what it does there. So automatically add torrents from uh, whatever folder that you wanted to so that's the folder that we use before you know when it was downloading with FlexGit so pointing to that folder okay and also these other features here um, check this one it says start when added so basically when the torrents is added it will start downloading and also this one move uh, dot torrents files to the trash can because you don't really need that anymore okay so as soon as it's loaded into transmission it'll just delete those old crap okay and this one is uh, optional but I like to do this one I like to keep the incomplete folders in the incomplete and once it's finished it'll save it to or move it to um, your video folder or whatever folder you want to go to okay and as far as seeding I don't like to see so as soon as it's finished is it it pauses and that's it is done okay I'm a hit and run kind of person I, I don't like to see but it's up to you if you want to see not a big deal and as far as this you can do a speed limit and all that I think I talked about this last time but uh, if you know you're using your computer at the same time you want to limit your speed and you can still browse on it at the same time up to you but it's not that hard block list of course that's pretty much it um, and that's all you gotta do uh, for this so basically whenever uh, your transmission fires up and if it sees that if there's a, a torrent files in here it's gonna load it automatically and it's gonna delete it to the trash can and uh, it's gonna uh, download and as soon as it's finished downloading it'll stop and it'll go to the pause okay so as soon as it's, uh, you know it downloads all of your thing it'll go to the pause so you don't have to see if you don't like to waste bandwidth so that's my setup there and um, we're gonna make it do it automatically the next step using cron tab uh, so that's it for this one